welcome back to Afternoons in June, which is my beauty and fashion series where I'm putting up a new video every other day in the month of June on this channel. So every even day of this month, there's going to be a new beauty and fashion video. So I'm very excited about that. And before I get started, I need to let you guys know that there are protesters outside my window. And I kept trying to film this video because I guess the police are coming because it's like a um, noise complaint, like so many people called and complained. And I don't even know what they're protesting about. They just have like the bullhorns and all, the only word I can make out is Mercedes Benz. Everything else I have no idea what they're saying. It just sounds like random squawking. Um, so I guess the police come and they tell them to stop and then when the police leave they start back up again. So every time I've started to try to film this video they've been quiet but then in the middle of the video it starts squawking again. So I'm going to try to get through this entire video without um, protesters in the background. But if you guys do happen to hear a little bit of that or hear my dogs barking at them or something like I am so sorry about that I don't even know what they're protesting about um, but today I am doing the colors of the rainbow tag my sister did this video and it was created by talk Becky talk which I will link her video in the bottom bar below she is super super cute and um, basically Elle did this tag and I tweeted this morning and I was like I'm in the mood to do a tag video for today's afternoon in June what's a new tag video I can do and everyone was like colors of the rainbow so I decided to do this. Basically, it is a tag where you um, go through each color, so red, orange, yellow, green, blue, indigo, violet, and then there's also multicolor and pink, and I'm adding one more, which is gold. So you go through those 10 colors, and you basically say your favorite beauty or fashion item. It can be anything from a candle to a makeup item to a fashion item, anything like that. So I decided that I wanted to do that, and it was really fun to come up with the ideas for these. So the first one I'm getting started on is red, and I bet you guys can probably guess I'm doing a red lipstick. I haven't watched a lot of other people's videos, but I feel like pretty much everyone would probably do a red lipstick for the red. But this one is Russian Red from MAC. It's just like my favorite go-to bright red that I just love. And this one is from the Wonder Woman collection, um, just because I really love the packaging, and it's so cute. And it's one of those things where I know that this one is my Russian Red, because I have a lot of just like the black MAC lipsticks. And this is a color that I go to a lot, so it's nice to just have it in like a different packaging. So this is my red. For orange, I actually have the Skylark, and I'm not trying to self-promote. This actually is my favorite orange item I have in the moment right now. So this is the Skylark nail color in Jelly Shot right now on my fingers. I have B-Days and Cabo here. I'll get close so you guys can see. Oh, the lighting's really bad. So on my fingers, I have the pink B-Days and Cabo, but this is an orange called Jelly Shot, and I will put a link to the video where I talk all about these in the bottom bar below because I don't want to like spam this video with Skylark talk. But this is my favorite orange item right now, and it makes you look so much tanner when you put it on. I have a swatch in my video that I'll link, um, so you guys can go check that out if you're interested in this. This shirt literally is like a tint. It may or may not, I'm not exactly sure, be a maternity I shirt. I actually was wearing this shirt the day I got Teddy, which is pretty awesome. Okay, next thing is yellow, and this isn't actually a yellow product, but it's yellow packaging, and I don't know if that counts, but I'm not crazy into yellow. Like, I don't have a favorite yellow um, like clothing item or bag or anything like that. I'm just not that into yellow, but I do have this, which is the Kate Somerville SPF Serum Tinted Sunscreen. So it's a it's a 55 um, sunscreen, but it also has a little bit of a tint. To it. I'm not one to wear a bunch of makeup out to the pool. I feel like it's just a little bit um, like pointless because if you get in the water and stuff, it's going to come out anyway. Sometimes I'll do a little bit of like waterproof mascara or something and some lip balm, but I'm not one that like goes in with a full face of makeup. But I do love this because not only is it an SPF 55, but it also has a little bit of coverage with the tinted part. So it almost just evens your skin tone out and gives you just like a really pretty natural glowy look. So I love this very much and I hope that this counts as a yellow product since it's in a yellow container. Um, but I don't really have anything like, I'm not into like yellow eyeshadow or anything like that. Um, if I had to pick something else, maybe it would be a pair of yellow shoes that I don't own, but like a pair of yellow really cool like um, wedges or something for the summer. I don't know, but I don't have any to show you guys because like I said, I don't own them. Um, okay, red, orange, yellow, green. Next product is the same thing, it's green but it's not exactly green inside. Does this count? Am I doing this tag all wrong? Oh no, I'm scared now. Okay, so this is the Macadamia Natural Oil 
and the hair mask and these are incredible and my favorite thing to do is mix some of the hair mask with some of the oil put it from the ponytail section ow i just grabbed my earring from the ponytail section of my hair i put it all the way down then i put it up in a bun and then i put a shower cap on on top i sleep with it and then when you rinse it out in the morning and then wash your hair literally you will never have a smoother softer head of hair ever in your entire life until you do this so this is another product now i'm like really embarrassed that maybe i'm doing this tag wrong this is another product that is in green packaging but it's not exactly um green itself but i do like like turquoisey green tinted um like you know eyeliner and stuff like that so maybe i could have done that but this is just so much better to me like i just love this so 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 very much and it is so soft so moisturizing i'm actually gonna put a little bit in my hair right now just because i feel like it um and i don't like it to make my hair oily so i do a tiny bit i think you're supposed to do it in damp hair but long hair don't care you know but it makes it so soft and the ends are so amazing. Okay, so the next thing is blue and this is actually my most prized possession ever. Um, it happens to be blue and I've mentioned it in videos and blog posts before and I'm not gonna lie, like every time I do I get scared because I'm like people know now what my most prized possession is and they know how they could hurt me the most by taking this. And um, I don't know, it kind of scares me, so I hide it. But this is my great grandmother's pen. So, ow, I'll get close so you guys can see. So it looks like this. It's blue with um, some like silvery, bluish, pearly looking objects. I'm not really sure, but this was my great grandmother. So basically my grandmother's mom had my grandmother and then two other sons and both of her sons actually passed away and she went into a really deep depression and was just very upset, you know, obviously because her two sons passed away. And so, um, her everyone at work and her husband and everyone pitched in and got her this pin as kind of a symbol of they're still with you in your heart so you can see it's kind of like shaped like a heart and um it was just kind of their way of saying like we're all here for you and your sons they're still here in your heart even though they're not physically here next to you and i guess it helped bring her out of her depression and stuff and then she gave it to my grandmother and then my grandmother saved it and decided that she was going to give it to me she had a lot of other like little trinkets with memories like this she gave some to Elsa and all my other cousins and stuff but this is what she gave to me and I love it and this is going to be my something blue on my wedding day I don't know if I'm gonna have it kind of like because the back is a little pin um, to like put on a dress or something but I think I'm gonna have a comb inserted into the back of it to put it like in my hair maybe or I don't know what I'm gonna do with it I might put it on my bouquet like you know how the bouquet on the stem I don't even have a boyfriend I don't know why I'm sitting here like oh my goodness like this is what I'm doing for my um like wedding but I just know that this is going to be it so this is my most prized possession ever and it is blue um so red orange yellow green blue indigo indigo so I have for indigo my favorite 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 shorts for summer and I literally live in these the entire summer so these are by Civi I got them at the Beverly Center at Divine Clothing but a lot of other places carry these and these are just the best denim shorts ever I don't know what it is it's the way they fit they're literally like the sisterhood of the traveling pants because they fit me they fit Remy who we all know Remy is literally like this I mean her legs are like the size of spaghetti noodles and I'm over here like how do they still look good on you when my legs clearly are not the size of spaghetti noodles and I'm like how do they look good on you? Obviously, they're a lot baggier on her, but they still like look good. And then they fit me, and then they fit a few of our other friends. We all have different body shapes. And like our friend Sasha has a huge bonkadonk. I mean, her butt is like amazing. She does a lot of stuff. I wish I had a butt like that, but I mean, her butt is like the perfect bubble butt. It's just like rounding out there. And these look beautiful on her too. And I'm just like, how do they look so good on everyone? So it is safe to say that these are just kind of like the go-to denim shorts for summer in my opinion and in all of my friends' opinion. So we all have them um, in the same size and it's crazy. But um, yeah, Sasha's butt is just like so round. She's like out there. <laughs> what? Um, okay, so next is purple. So I have two different things for purple. The first one I have is the Moonlight Dream Victoria's Secret. Um, it's honeysuckle and aquatic orchid scented this is the hydrating body lotion i also have the body spray the body exfoliator the body 
wash and the body cream um, so I definitely love this scent it is just so 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 good and it comes out in like a light lavender so I feel like that's like lavender but another thing that has the lavender packaging but isn't actually lavender inside this is the Michael Todd true organics charcoal detox deep pore gel cleanser okay when you first squirt this onto your hands, don't be alarmed that it is the color of like charcoal mud. Um, and then you put it onto your face and there's just something about it that is so pampering and luxurious and relaxing. And it's just literally, you can feel it soaking into your pores and just like grabbing all of like the gunk that's built up in there during the day. I mean, it is an incredible cleanser and it has purple packaging. So I decided that I would mention that with purple. And then we have pink. So my favorite pink thing is my Rebecca Minkoff pink bag. And I took the strap off of this because I like to just carry it like under my shoulder and my hand, but um, I still have the strap if I wanted to stick it on. It can go, you know, on crossbody. It can go just like straight down on the side, but I love this. This is my Rebecca Minkoff. Is this a Mac or a mini Mac? I'm not exactly sure, but like the feet are super cute and it actually holds a lot. This little baby holds I think more than my Chanel medium flat bag holds, which the flap is like this wide. So how this holds more, I think it's just like a stretchier leather and stuff, but I love this. And this is pretty much like my go-to bag. If pink goes with my outfit, this is the bag that I'm carrying. And then we have multicolor. So my favorite multicolor thing is actually this dress. And this dress is by, I believe, Young, Fabulous, and Broke. Um, no, dresses and other drugs. Okay, so I was completely wrong. Um, but this dress is by Dresses and Other Drugs, and I just think it's super cute. And there's actually a drag queen that wore this dress, and she, he, she, she rocked it way better than I did. I mean, I'm just going to throw it out there. Like, she looked fantabulous in it. Um, I looked... I don't know, like a girl trying to wear a sparkly disco ball-y dress, but I absolutely love this dress and I wear this all the time to very inappropriate things and that I probably shouldn't be dressed up as a disco ball, but I'd like to, I feel like it's better to dress up than to dress down because you never know if you're going to meet a prince. I mean, that's just like my go-to. Okay. And then also the phone case multicolor. I love this. Again, not trying to promote it like Skylark, so I'm just going to mention it really quickly. And you know, you guys know that these are available at HM. I believe they're online now. Don't hate me if they're not. I think they are. If they are, I will put a link to them in the bottom bar below. If not, you can get them at your local AT&T store. Um, but this is the multicolor chevron one. How pretty is that? Um, but if they're not online yet, they should be online. I believe they were supposed to be on on May 28th, but something pushed them back. So I don't know, but I think that they should be online. And then the last thing, oh, and I cracked my phone. It's horrible. And I don't know what I'm going to do. I think I'm just going to get the screen replaced and then I'm going to wait for the 5S, which I don't even know when it's coming out. Someone said September, someone said August, someone said October. I'm not really sure, but I'm going to just get it, the screen replaced and then wait so I can upgrade for the 5S. And then the last thing I'm adding is gold. And that is because these are the gold Tatcha Aburata Magori, this. Um, beauty papers, Japanese beauty papers, and they actually have little flecks of gold in the papers. And these are the oil blotting sheets that you kind of press onto your skin. It absorbs the oil and it doesn't leave any sort of residue on your skin. It doesn't take your makeup off with it. I really love these. And after my last video, when all of you were like, oh my goodness, your hair looks green and your skin is really oily. You need to find those blotting papers, honey. I was like, oh my goodness, my hair does look green. I don't know why. Um, and I do need to, you know, find some oil blotting paper. So I got these. Shh. Quiet. Um, yes. So these are the gold that I added. So I would love to see your guys' color of the rainbow tag. So go ahead and film it and leave it as a video response to this. And I will talk to you later. Make sure you come back every even day in the month of June on this channel because there will be a new video up in the afternoons. So I will talk to you guys a little later. Bye.